podcast? If you are, don't forget you can support the show via Patreon at patreon.com slash ironsysadmin. Or you can buy merchandise at teespring.com slash stores slash ironsysadmin. And thank you. everybody no worries at all totally not an iron since it been night but since all of my streaming software is set up to be branded for the podcast i didn't feel like recreating all that so here we are <laughs> mark I mean, and i can be it is yeah i mean technically it's all on the podcast's uh platform so why the hell not right and uh you know just because we can do like a yay <laughs> All right, so what the heck are we doing tonight? We're going to play around with some Valheim. Um, I don't know. Can I share this thing? We can show it quick. Hang on. I, I hope. Gotta, I got to like do a thing here. We're going to make a new... Oh, right.
writing code live in production. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Help me. Help me. Well, this should be as simple as picking the right window here. I just didn't want to ruin never as my, simple. my gaming setup on. Where's Brave? Where you at, Brave? Where's Brave? Is this going to work? It's not going to work. Why not? Oh, it's going to be a window capture. Things are working. Oh. It's the first time for everything. It's the first time for oh. everything. Oh, he did not just say that. Come on, where's the thing I'm looking for? There it is. This is often what happens backstage when we're not broadcasting. Yep, totally. I, I, I just didn't have this one ready. I just want to show the map that we're, we're going to be going into I here. I know what you're trying here. to do. I There. That'll do it. Here we go. That'll do, pig. I think. Let me resize it a little bit so you can see us. And I'm not blocking the chat and stuff. There. Now we have, like, the, the map. Is that going to be what the game view is, except it won't be the map? Yeah, well, it'll like be similar game's to what be the where game Brave is. is. Yeah, the game will be where Brave is. So you should see okay. you should see my browser with my mouse over it and stuff. So so what are we doing tonight? We're going to play around. It's freaking terrifying. I don't know. If anybody has any idea what Valheim is, I'm hoping that you care. Otherwise. Vikings. Vikings, right. So Valheim is a uh, early access game. It's not even like completely done yet. Um, but it's done enough that we have been having a ton of fun playing it. Um, and there is, as there is with many things, there is a subreddit for Valheim. And on that subreddit, one thing that people do is share seeds for worlds. Worlds are randomly generated when you, um, when you start a new game. And the proper term is they're procedurally, procedurally generated, generated from a okay. random number seed. Right. And it's not just a number though. It's a random seed. It's a string. Right? Okay. Right. Um, but... The point is, it the ran the world itself is not random, the seed is random, and it's it's the same technology that that a fair number of games use nowadays. No Man's Sky being the most infamous for a lot of people because it yeah. had a terrible. Yep. But yeah. But it basically by but the the seed determines mathematical equations that are solved a certain way, yep. and that generates the terrain yeah. and the spawn yeah. areas and stuff, and where the different so the biomes point, yeah. are and whatever. There's I don't know how they, like it's it's actually kind of fascinating that this random string of letters and numbers can make an entire world for the game. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But the cool thing about the game is if you find a world a map that you like, like if you start a new one or if someone starts up a new game and they think the, the map is particularly unique, they can get the seed spicy, from the world. Will, spicy. To quote our chat. And then you can uh, you can share that with other people, and then they can make the same world on their own game, right? So it's a lot easier than, uh, like, if I were to take the world file and share it or something, right? This is, All you need is this, like, what is it, 8-character, 12-character, 10-characters, maybe. It's uh, something. And then you can recreate the world. Well... Um, on this subreddit, people, when they find interesting seeds, they share them. And this one is interesting because the area that you start in, commonly referred to as the spawn or the altar, because that's where your character spawns when you start the game, it's on and an island. An altar. And there's an altar. It's well, on an it's, island, it, right? Well, so you're always going to be on an island. It's a the tiny thing island. thing is, <laughs> this is a particularly tiny island, and it's a little terror. I think I see what might be trees, though. Yeah, so it's a tiny so little good. tiny little island, and the reason that's significant is because in order to get off this island, you need enough stamina to either swim across this water to the main island, which you can see as I zoom out here, looks sort of like a heart or maybe a butt, depending on how uh, salty your mind is. <laughs> it's definitely a butthole. I mean, heart's being very generous. Um. But in order to get so onto the main island, you need to be able to get across. Berry. You need to get across this water here, and I'm pretty sure that a character with no, no equipment and no food, because that's how you get more stamina is by eating food, 
can't get across this, right? And uh, so we're going to be on this island with no equipment, no skills, nothing. We're going to have to be able to try to get off the island onto the mainland. And that's kind of the goal for tonight. Now, I have a plan. Mark, do you have an idea how to get off the island? Because I, I kind of have a plan that I'm hoping will work out. No, that's going to... I have not explored the seed. I have not explored the spawn point. I am hoping there are pigs. Yeah, I, I have not explored it extensively other than I made a new world with that seed just to see if it looked like I could swim across it, and I could not. The first thing, oh, okay. So I might, I might try crossing at the most narrow point. Yeah, we before, may. We could just try that. We see do what anything. Happens. See if we can find. But when we start, right? There's really no penalty to dying if we try swimming across and we die, right? So maybe we'll start with that. But in my mind, what we need to do is hopefully there's resources enough to build a raft, which yeah. we need pigs for that because right. we need leather. So to make a make a raft, we need we need leather scraps and we need wood. Right. So. Right. And then once we make the friggin' raft, we if if we're successful, as soon as we cross, we need to, like, build beds so that we don't respawn and don't have the ability because our only friggin' raft is. Yeah, uh, right. Right. It's a one way trip. So to, to be fair, to build the raft, we don't just need wood. To build the raft, we need wood to, wood to build a workbench, too. Yeah, well, that right. too. So we got to be real. What's the word I want to? We have to be real. Let, let's see what we're in. Let's look at our situation. I kind of want to start. All right. So. Um, because all this will turn on whether or not we have enough wood. Yeah. By the way, so, I, think, I think I hear the game echoing into your mic. So I don't know if you just yeah, have probably it on your headphones is. or what. But. You know what? If that's bothering you, I can change that. Well, I didn't know if. You wanted to be able to hear through your. Mind. In fact, I'll just turn down. I'll turn the speakers down. Don't go through your headphones. Isn't that the key? I don't feel like going through my headphones. Whatever then. Because then it's on top. <laughs> then it's on top of you. All right. So we're gonna call this guy Hagar because he's the most famous Viking. Ah, okay. I named. I named my. Well, I'll give you the name, and maybe you'll recognize it because the. It's from your era. All right. I think I have my audio set up good. Um, and he me... needs that big poofy hair. Let me let me start. I don't want to share the address for the server in case people try to like do nasty things to it. Yeah. So I'm gonna get to the point where it's asking for the password, and then I will. All right. Let me switch to the right scene here. Battle. Although it's not, show oh, maybe it's not because I haven't logged in yet. No, hold on. Yes, is fighting with me again. Game capture? Oh, because I switched it to that. Didn't want to do that. So join game. Why is it not my list? I'm not I'm not hitting a key to make him drop me off faster. 
up, and it looks like it dropped you. All right. All right, now we should have it going. There we go. Except that my camera is in a really weird spot. There we go. I'm standing on your head. Or you were standing on my head. Oh, look, there's a gray language for us. I've been, cuffs. I've improved in fists. Yeah, so did I. All right, so anybody on the stream, I hope you can see the game now, right? We must slay the forsaken to yes. ascend to Valhalla. There's, there's Hugo. Is this the same bird that carries us in? I think it is, right? Uh, the other bird that carries us in seems pretty big. I guess what I see. All right, so... I see a pig. I see a couple of pigs. So the, this is looking good. All right, let's 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 see. Oh, Ike there's right over there. That's kind of cool. He's close by. Not that that matters right now. No. All right, so should we should we try to swim it just to it, see? Like, is this is this challenge going to be over that quickly? <laughs> um. Yeah, let's see what we can do. I don't think we're yeah, going to be able to swim. I that. can't even get on top of this rock. That's how. Like terrible, my character is right now. Just Why? Don't, we... don't aggro the pig because if you die, we're gonna lose the leather scraps. All right, now we're, we'll... Would we? Well, it'll be on your tombstone in the middle of the water. We won't be able to get to it. Okay. But... Come on, pig. I'm already dying. It's terrible. Yeah, so this is real embarrassing we're having fisticuffs. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We need to make sure that we don't lose anything. Yeah, so uh... So the very so so Valheim, for those of you who've not played, Valheim uh, is a survival and crafting game. No, so, I so a box in there. yeah. One very important thing is your your character, your Viking, in theory knows recipes to craft. Yeah, but he has forgotten many of them. Ooh. So let's see here. So here's my thought: we should not try and duplicate efforts in terms of tools. Because we'll just burn through resources too quickly. Yeah. That seems valid. Sorry, I'm fixing All right. my, uh, my window here. So I found that some stones. All right. So can I make a stone axe? So, so I need five wood and four stone. I'm going to take my stuff oh, excuse and me. throw it on this rock here. Well, I want to be real careful about dropping stuff so it doesn't despawn. Yeah, well, I'm just going to do this and then try to swim. Okay, you do that. Here you do go. you. I'm looking for materials. This is not. This is not gonna work. No, it's not gonna. I'm work, already. But it'll be funny. I'm already out of stamina. <laughs> Wait, are you in the water? Yeah. I, I couldn't out. even make it back. To the water. Yeah. So swimming across is not gonna work until we find some food. So you died. I died. Here okay. we go. So so. All right, so it's not going to be as easy as you thought it might be. Well, I, I, I never thought it was going to be that easy, but I thought it was worth trying. Neither did I. Run back and get my terrible, terrible armor over here. Okay. With, with a pig and a grayling chasing me. So we need stones. Thunder punch! Thunder punch! Thunder you want, punch! You want to make a... An axe, right? Is that what you're That's saying? exactly what I'm trying to do. Right, let me get my stuff back from the rock here. I need one more pe I need four wood and I've got two. Uh, so we should be able to just like... Punch little trees. Yeah, punch the little trees. Or are there still sticks? Oh, there's raspberries. Raspberries might help us. Yeah, I actually punched a beech tree to death. Good job. There are sticks. There's plenty of sticks. There's a stick right I... over here. Where's a stick? Here's a stick. I don't see on the map. Here's a stick. Oh, hold on. We might have to 
Yeah, in your, turn in on your, your, yeah. Uh, in the map. Turn on visible to other players. There we go. That way we can track each other on the mini map. All right. Oh my God! There's all kinds of pigs. This raft idea here is me, not going to be hard. All right. Oh, all hi, right. Nick. I want one of the pigs. Two are big. Two pig. So, I have enough wood to make stone axe, so I'm going to do that. This will be life-changing. Having an axe? Yes, it will be. Yeah. So... <laughs> you just okay. Got... <laughs> I just got pig butt to go. You got mauled by a pig. Bastard. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay. I don't have enough wood to make a club. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> and my body's still here. Where'd the pig go? I got him. I killed the pig. Okay. Um, I've got. I've already got two leather scraps. But I don't know how many we need to make the. the I'm raft. not sure either. So I killed his I killed his little buddy. Well, we're not gonna know until we build I was trying to tell our studio audience the next thing we need you can craft some things in your hand. But yeah, like a club, which I was really tempted to make, but I don't want to waste the wood. But what you really need is a workbench. Yeah. There's a neck or and, two. And the thing about a workbench, for it to be effective, it needs to be in a building. Now, Father Odin has blessed us on There this is a map building, yes. Because we actually have a building. Ah, just... the neck got me. Oh, good lord. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have skillet woodcutter. Congratulations. All right, where did I die? It has gone up. I died over here. No, don't kill me, Nick. I want my stuff back. All right, grayling down. Never really thought I'd be running away from Nick again. Yeah, so, so this game is both somewhat relaxing and really friggin' brutal at times. Because you die. Pretty yeah. easily. Yeah, if you the beginning anyway. You, you die pretty easily. Yeah, it's, it's not quite Elden Ring, but... There's going to be dead bodies all over this, uh, this island. All right. So all right. we need we need a workbench, right? My God, this bird. Right. Go away, bird. Yes, you bring tidings. Thanks. Oh, but I but I need to build a hammer first. That's what I'm missing. Yep. We you, you need stone for do you need stone I need, for a hammer. I need one more stone. I have two stone. I have a stone already. I need another stone. How's our How's our chat? Is our chat loving this little adventure so far? Or are they Are they mocking us? We have We have some chat going. Nothing. Do you have any stone on you? Uh, I do not. Okay. So that's where I'm a little concerned. So I'm going to look for stone. Look for stone. Up here is stone. And I'm not sure. Like, like stone probably respawns. It does. It does. Flint, stone, that, that stuff all, all Yeah, respawns. the pig. The so if, if it were terrible and we were patient enough, if we had to, we could wait for things to respawn. Yeah, I have, I have wood. That would, that would be a too. little boring. I might need some after the hammer. Okay. All right. Woo! Deer. Workbench. We can do a workbench now. I'm going to go talk to the raven. Who brings tidings? I bring tidings. Okay. With this tool, you'll raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. He's not wrong. Not wrong. And and that's honestly one of the cool parts about this game because oh, you want you want the wood I have nine wood. You want the wood? Uh I'm cutting down some more or, trees. Or should I hang on to it until we can maybe make a why am I still hang not on. wearing my armor? Hang on to the wood for meow. Alright. 
we had to, we could just punch this house to death, but we, we need that, don't we? No, we're if not we going to punch the house to death. That's silly. Here's a rock. All right, so the workbench is built. And I got all sorts of more. Now it gives me more crafting recipes. Yep. Lots Make of building pieces. And so part of the game. Yeah. Part of the appeal of the game is as you go into new biomes and you, you and you discover new materials that you you're able to build more and more things but uh, be, beyond that you also need to be able to um to harvest new materials and so for instance when you start you're only use i'm, I'm just explaining to our viewers yep you essentially can use like wood and leather to do metal um metal. you need to be able to mine copper and tin and then you can you can you can smelt them together to make bronze but you cannot mine without a pick and the way you get a pick is by you you actually have to defeat the first boss because it's this giant magical deer and you use his horn to build a pick that lets you start mining. So it, it's actually pretty baller. All right, All right. So, so we're going to need to build a raft. We need 20 wood. Yep, six, that's easy. Six leather scraps. And uh -huh. the, the harder thing, I think, is going to be six resin. Because we've only had so many gray dwarves. All right. So, or Grayling. So I've got, yeah. let, let's let consolidate what we got here. Do you want, since you're the one that there's the screen they're watching, I'm going yeah, to toss got, you the resin. I've got, I'm going to toss oh, you these scraps. Okay. I'm going to toss you this wood. All right. In that case, it looks like all we need is eight more wood. And what, what did I say? Six scraps we need or eight scraps? Well, it tells you on the hammer. You can yep. show our viewers. Let's see. We need we need two more leather scraps, and we need eight okay. more wood. And we're we're good so with wood, resin. Wood is it? Yeah, you gave the resin you gave me, and the, the two that I had and the four you gave me gave us enough. So I'm just gonna punch right. this tree to death. I'm really tempted to make an axe, but I don't want to use the wood to make an axe because there's only so much wood on this island. So the station is too exposed for me to repair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's just awesome. Well, because even though it's in the house, I guess the roof isn't covered enough. Yeah. But it'll let it'll probably let us make the but the raft, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. It should. I hope. You know, I've got some raspberry. You want a raspberry? You want to eat a raspberry? Or did you get some? I are there? Did you leave any, or did you strip the? I'm the just going to give them to you. Here, here's three raspberries. Catch. I'll throw raspberries at you. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are used to progression in in like role playing games and stuff, there you don't your character does have skills that go up by using, but your character do, do you want the axe, dude, or you want me to chop these down? <laughs> but why? I could just punch them. I need one more wood. <laughs> well, there's there's some wood on the ground. So go ahead and take the wood. So your character doesn't have levels. Your character's power is ultimately, well, you do have skills that you level up. To be honest, that they don't that's not the most important thing. The most important stuff is the gear that you're wearing and the food that you're eating. That that's really progressing a Valheim character. What am I missing? Oh, we need leather scraps yet. Alright, if we get leather scraps, then So now it's the hunt for boards. We need boards. Yeah, we do. How much wood do I have? All right, if, if I can get enough wood to make a club, this would be really helpful. It's high here, man. What do you want to tell me now? This tool, you can Squaw! make Squaw! Oh, thank you. Squaw! Squaw! Yeah, that's, that's what he's telling me. That's you, Squaw. What do I need to make a club? Six wood. So if I need... If I get two more wood, I can make a club and not jeopardize our raft. 
<laughs> All right, so let me go and review some of the chat messages. Um, could you rotate a little bit? There we go. Is that an archer reference? Something like that? Well, I've not really watched archer, so I'm not hundred percent sure. It could inadvertently be one of his major floating. I don't even remember what I said. It's a problem with delayed responses. Uh, all right, I have hey, a club I'm sorry now. if you like the game, JC, but it a lot of people who play get sucked in. I will say that. I actually often forget the games in early access. I'll be honest. Yeah, it really is a good game. It um it a lot of the it's got a lot of the appeal to 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 games like WoW and stuff like the whole the whole RPG aspect, but because it's more sandboxy and there aren't quests per se, but the progression is basically you killing the big bosses and deciding how you're going to achieve that, I like that open aspect. Alright, so we've, by building a workbench, we have cut off part of the island to uh, four spawns. Spawns. How big is the, uh, the circle? Um, I'm not sure how much of the island now will not get spawns, but so we, there's a simple solution. We could break the workbench down, I guess. We get, and that's the uh, that's the cool thing about crafting in Valheim. When you break down buildings and stuff you've made, you get the materials back. Well, you know what you we can't can do. You can't do that with armor or weapons, but you can do it with buildings. I guess we can't sleep because we'll have to make ra we'll have to make beds, which we don't have more the of our wood. Do we need wood for beds, or we need? Don't. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We don't need. Uh, we don't need leather. Right. I would say, to hell with the sleeping. I would say destroy the workbench to open up the spawning again. In fact, I'm gonna go just go do that. Yeah, we can do that. So what I'm talking about is that as you civilize the world, you build workbenches and they have a zone around them. And that's used primarily to stop monsters and stuff from spawning inside of your base. Yep. Did you break it down? I did. So now this this whole area should be wild again. Is it to now build time? to build to build right to is build stuff? Down? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hush you. We can't build any like significant things anymore in that area now. And we'll but, have to rebuild it when we do that when we go to build. When we the, decide to do the raft, but again, raft, yeah, all the wood that was used was returned to me, so it's really not a loss. Knocking down saplings, waiting for boards to spawn. Yeah, pretty much. Watch, well, like in the middle of the night, a, a two-star boar will spawn and kill all of us. So, what's your favorite part about Valheim? Get your friend. I mean, whatever I'm allowed to call you. Honestly, I'm allowed, uh, I think I'm allowed to call you Nate. Yeah, I think that's fine. People on the podcast know me as Nate. <laughs> um, I don't know. I like uh, the simplicity. Honestly, the, the game is like the, almost deceptively simple. Like you think it's going to be so much more complicated, and it's not. Deceptively simple. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so... I would, I would say there's the, a lot of systems and stuff that could become complicated. But yeah, at its core, you're right. It's not actually difficult the, to play. Like, when I made my character, it was... I chose a hairstyle and whether I wanted a beard or not, and his skin tone and male or female. There was no, like, oh, what race do I want to be? What class do I need to be? What... What stats do I need to pick? What this? What the? No, it's just you're a dead Viking. Boom. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a boar. Come oh, here, I was Mr. just boar. about to make a campfire. Come here, boar. Come here, boar. Come Huggins, here, boar, 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 now boar. it's night time, which means it's not as safe. You won't, you don't regen as fast at night, which right. is the biggest problem because you're cold. 
right. Did you get the boar? Yep, I got one more scrap. We need one more to get this get us off this All island. All right, so here's what we're go here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a campfire. Yeah, let's, so that we let's have hang a place out at the campfire. Warm. Let's hang out at the fire. I'll add some wood to it. Don't waste all our wood on a fire. I only put five pieces of wood. It's fine. And now that we're sitting by the campfire, we'll get a rest bonus. Yeah. And, and the rest bonus is a real important concept. It lets you regen faster, both yep. your stamina and your health. Yep. So those are really, those are really your, if you look in the lower left-hand corner of Nate's of the screen, and this is kind of covered by the chat, but you'll see Nate's um, health. It's a red bar, and then you'll see if he's eaten any food. I think he's probably still got a raspberry active. Yep. But as you eat food, it increases your health and your stamina. And then as the food wears off, you lose. Your base life is 25. Now, my, my Viking, who is clad in armor made from silver and has a mighty S-word that does magical damage and everything else, when I don't eat, my health is 25. But we have we have food at our in our base on our main server that gets my health up over a hundred. Yeah, like hundred twenty or something. Yeah, the, this raspberry got me up to thirty. And the thing that is, uh, I don't want to say complicated, but the thing that you need to balance, right? Every piece of food will give you. Here, I'll just hover over the raspberry I've got. The raspberry says it'll give me seven health and twenty stamina. Now, fruits right. and things are usually well. Fruits and things are usually high in stamina, where meats are high in health. And you might think, oh well, I just need all the health I can get, right? I should just eat nothing but meat and have all the health. Well, you have all the health, but you don't have the stamina. You'll you'll get what I got when I tried to swim across the water here, which was you'll die. You'll die. Uh, and every, in combat. You won't be able to swing. You yep. won't be able to block. Yep. Yeah. So stamina is real important for combat. There's really not much that's more co that's more frustrating than being in a battle and trying to swing your weapon while you know a pig or a wolf or whatever is gnawing on your ankle. Um, oh no! The fire went out. There it went back. <laughs> and you have no stamina, and you're just like, come on, swing, and it won't. Swing, bada bada, swing. Did it rain temporarily? What was going on? No, the water was wet. The tide came up. Oh, that was rude. The tide came up and it hit the fire, put the fire out. Yeah, sometimes Valheim physics are real interesting. I think I hear a pig. Where is it? Here, piggy, 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 piggy. Oh, my you raspberry's might. wearing off. You might want to wait and fight him in the morning when you're not cold. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. I don't see a piggy. I hear well, something was damaging you. No, oh no, I ate some. I ate another berry. Yeah, I'm gonna need a. Come and rest by the fire. Oh, there's something laying in the water over there we didn't pick up. Maybe it's a leather scrap, and we'll be done. Maybe. No, nope, it's resin. Resin though is handy. And that's the other thing. Pretty much everything you can pick up or loot is handy for something. It might you might end up not needing like we don't really eat neck meat anymore, but you can still use neck neck tails to make uh mead. Mead to help resist breaking. Yeah. I've attracted the so, ire of a uh, raid war. Grayling. Grayling. I fell in the water. Get me out of the water. I don't want to drown. You're right. fine. Just chillax. Listen, my Viking's first memories of this world was drowning. <laughs> oh, that was, was self-imposed. Now he's self got a water phobia.
tanks ready. So do you do you do you get the reference on my my character's name? Grumby. I should, but I don't. Grumby was uh, was the last name, like the actual name of the skipper from uh, Gilligan's Island. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I thought Skipper or Gilligan would be too obvious, so I called him Grumpy. That, I, I, I actually, now that you're saying it, I think I knew that way in the back of my head. I had to look it up, to be honest, because I, I only knew him as Skipper. I don't, I don't think was, anybody ever yeah. called him his, his actual name. <laughs> what, wasn't his first name something like Atticus or something? Um, I have to look it up again. Hey Siri, what was the Skipper's first name in Gilligan's Island? Like Here's what I found from Jonas Grumby. Nickname of Jonas Grumby, a fictional character from the 1960s situation comedy Gilligan's Island. Oh. Yeah. J Jonas Grumby. Jonas Grumby. So that's appropriate since you're a castaway. Break yeah, me out. that was the point, right? We're stuck on a, on a. It's not quite a uh, paradise island. No. Although it does and, have this lovely campfire. And, you know, Gilligan's Island, there's so many questions, you know? Like, the professor could build a nuclear reactor out of some coconuts, but couldn't fix a hole in a boat? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, just... that was, the, that was the, the mystique of the show, right? Right. I, I mean, forget the nuclear reactor, because that's obviously extreme, but, like, they built all the, they built the shelters and stuff. And I think the minnow, at that time, like, fiberglass was not what what boats were commonly made out of so the minnow was probably a wooden boat i don't know well you know they had nothing to cut down a tree with we'll go with that and how'd they make how'd they make Shh. the shelters Shh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nights are longer than i remember maybe we should maybe we should do the the podcast sitting around a campfire in valheim from now on what do you think i mean we i mean that's up to you man that that that's a Nate thing. We still we still need to do the podcast from VR space. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely a thing. I want How's to that do. looking? So or did I just ruin a surprise? Well, no, I, I think, think you you brought that up. I was tinkering with trying to do it with uh, VR chat. Right. Um, in VR chat, you can build your own worlds using Unity. Yeah, and then. You have to have a proper reputation within VR chat in order to be able to upload it. And I don't have uh -huh. the reputation. So I was tinkering with building basically a set in VR space, or not in VR space, in Unity to do the show from. And uh, I kind of lost interest because I have no idea how to get the reputation in VR chat to be able to even upload the damn thing. So I, I contend that doing the show from our No Man's Sky base or a No we Man's could, Sky could, base would be viable. We could do that. The, the thing with VR chat is that it's set up to make this easy. Apparently not. Well, because you need to once, earn rep. Once you get the reputation, it's set up to make this easy, right? Because you can, it, it's got a built in camera and everything that you can, like, set How up. How do you a get the reputation? Do you, do, do you have you to basically act have not to, like a pedophile? You have to play I, the game, is what it comes down to. You play the game. Oh. And after some undefined amount of time. Now, play the game for VR chat is basically, though, just wandering around. Oh, yeah, it's like hang out in virtual bars and hang out with and cringy play ass people. virtual golf and stuff. Um, which, you know, it's fine, but it's not really my thing, right? So to do that, just to get reputation so I can run a space in VR chat, it's not what I want to do. I want to do. No, it's not. Where did my club? There it is. Uh, it's not, not really, you know, my, my thing. I don't want to waste time to do that. Anyway, the other option is VR space, which does not have the fit and polish of VR chat, but it has the benefit of being free and open source, which is exactly the kind of thing that we care about. All right, so we need a workbench, which I think I have enough to build on my own now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to build it right over here by the shore. Ah, 
Crafting, workbench, what? bang, miscellaneous, raft, boom. Yay, raft! All right, Mr. Sulu, take us out of here. I don't know, this is weird. Usually you're the one driving the boat. I know, but so again, the viewers are seeing your perspective. Yep. So they should see how you do this. All right. So what are we half an hour in? This is shorter than any show we've ever done. Where we've already accomplished the goal. Well, okay. Unless, unless I, we sink I'm, on the way across, that's possible. I'm going to argue that because we are not safely ashore until we respawn in our new location. And of course, we now have fog. Because if we die after we land but before we have re proper respawns then, yeah, then the we're, raft we're will be we, on the wrong shore the raft will be on the wrong shore <laughs> and we got to go through all this again <laughs> so no we have not won until we've until we have uh proper shelter and we can we each have a bed there's a rock yeah. try not to hit the rock he appreciates that. Although he's pretty tough, so we could probably hit. Oh! I hit the rock anyway. Rock. He did. A whole new world! We're now officially on shore. Now, I need rocks to build myself an axe now that we're here. Luckily, there are rocks right here. So we've made landing, and it is now time, as I as I insinuate it, to get us a proper settlement. So we could do this one of two ways. I need my last raspberry. We could. We could. What could we do? We could appropriate we, a house if we find it. We could appropriate a structure if we find it. Or we could just build a simple structure on our own. Now, there's a lot of, of logs that we can get wood from already. And, of course, there's the pig. perches. Yeah, don't get killed by the pig, please. Because, again, life is precious here. It is. So what I'm going to do, then, is over near the rail... I hear graylings. Yeah, they're going to be persistent. I think our best bet would probably just be to make a little hut ourselves. So I'm going to build a workbench over here. If you've got enough stuff to do it, why don't you build a fire and something to cook on? Because we have boar meat. That's, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to collect some more stone. But I can certainly. Okay. I can task myself with that. Right. And and the logic there for again for our viewers is that if we have better food like cooked boar meat, then we probably won't die to angry pigs as we've seen we can do already. Yeah, not as easily. Anyway. <laughs> and there's a lot of raspberries here, so that's cool. See if I can get crushed by a tree. Oh God, please don't. If one of us dies and the other doesn't, we can pick the other one up at the spawn point. Cause yeah. But if both of us die over here, then that would be not great. That would be a oh. tragedy. We have attained a viewer that you will recognize, Mark. It's Boozer! Boozer! <laughs> What's he yammering about? I mean, what does he usually yammer about? Nothing I and don't everything. Know. <laughs> Boozer! 
All right, I've got I've got almost 50 wood already. All right, I've made us a cooking station to to, to cook some delicious boar meat. I'm gonna get one more tree cut down, then I'll come over with my boar meat. No, oh, I had a few pieces myself. I had a few pieces myself, and I'm gonna make some neck meat too. Boozer is now following us. Thank you, Boozer. Boozer is someone we know from the local DEF CON group, and I don't actually know what he does. No one does. Like He, doesn't. he does something <laughs> at a company that has computers. He but... does a thing with a computer, and, uh, you know. <laughs> ah, delicious, delicious boar meat. 30 health. Boost. It's, a ba it's basically going to double my health. Speaking of delicious, I've really wanted to get some whiskey and have an old fashioned for this stream tonight. And I but didn't. You did. Totally didn't. I don't even have any beer in the house, though. That's tragic. It is tragic. All right, all I, I got some grilled is, neck, which I'm going to eat. Some Kool Aid. Oh, I feel much more like a Viking now. Because you're eating boar meat? Well, my health is only half regen, and it's at 48. Remember, viewers, how I said my health is 25? Now it is not. All right, that is the so magic of food in Valheim. I am going to get some shelter over this uh, workbench because my axe is almost dead. Oh, okay. So I'm cutting more wood to help build the shelter stuff. Yeah, oh, I, so, got, I got plenty of wood at the moment. So all right. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Right. So once we've got... Don't burn the don't burn the food. Well, you, you put it on like. I know. And, I know. I'm talking to you, myself. Oh my god. I'm talking to myself. It's fine. I'm telling myself not to burn the food. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's do a roof like this, I guess. Which makes it hard to like get to the thing, but I think it has a better chance of sheltering it. Yes. All right. All my stuff is fixed. All right. So there are uh -huh. two beds. Tasty boar meat. Don't we need a roof over them before we can sleep in them? Yeah, but at least they're there and we can point okay. to them. Need so we can yeah. Land. So if you if you have the ability to create the yep. roof, yeah. let me uh, get my food off of the fire. Yeah. Now what Nate was doing is your tools wear out over time. My hammer was pr my uh, my axe was uh, pretty uh, pretty beaten up. But now that we have a workbench that was covered, I could repair it. And the nice thing about repairing your stuff in the game is you don't need to spend more resources to repair. I'm going to build us like a cool lean-to, you think? Uh, sure. Uh, just as long as we can rest. Do you need more wood? Yeah, Should we'll, I be chopping we'll, more wood? We'll be able to rest. Here. Because at that point, at that point, we can declare victory. Because, I, don't, I didn't say this explicitly, but in Valheim, when you die, you respawn at your the last bed you slept in. Yep. And if you've never slept in a bed, you respawn at the altar. Which, as we already pointed out, is on the other side of the water. Yes, Hoogan, I, I see. I've got, I've got a bed now. Thanks for telling me. Spawn point set! Woohoo! All right, we're done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> well, so actually, at this point, we, we, have, we have achieved our challenge. We, we, we successfully escaped the island. And created a tiny, tiny Don't home. Don't you kill our raft. We've Sorry, created yes. a tiny, tiny home Why is he where running? Stop running. we oh, well, whatever. Run away. We could then continue to um to, to Viking. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Don't you? I, I agree. <laughs> it's like, hold on, the pit trap's over here. <laughs> but it, it became general principle. Ow, he, 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 I never really noticed that. Yeah. Stupid graylings. Stupid graylings. All right, so uh, what now? What do we do now? Well, 
That's a great question. I don't think we had a plan. Yeah. Like, other than we were going to try this. So, oh, God. Well, it was an hour anyway, right? With some jibber-jabber and stuff? Uh, we've been live 41 minutes, so, you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we can either continue to goof around a little bit, or we can say, hey, we did the challenge, that's awesome, and uh, and, and and call it. I, I, I'm, I'm open to either idea. I mean, I'm, I'm game, right? I didn't, uh, I didn't have any other plans for tonight. Yeah, I might, I might not mind playing Elden Ring, but you know. <laughs> All right. So what I've also done is I built a chest. Yeah. If you show them the chest, Nate, how that works, it, it, it's got storage it's a, slots in it. This is a family stream. I can't show my chest. Oh, hey now. No, nah, you're well, double standard. <laughs> you're, you're, you're male, so you can. All but the right. chest, the chests are handy because uh, your your Viking can only carry a certain amount of stuff. Um. And then, um, also, you're going to want to be able to store, like, extra equipment, extra weapons, extra armor. Because when you die, you know, you got you, you might die in a situation because you were overwhelmed by strong creatures or whatever. So to get your body back, running back naked might not be a viable move. Kind of a bad thing, yeah. Kind of a bad thing. So if we were going to continue this, what would be the let's let's have you open your map so that people can see. And if you zoom out on your map to the southeast of where we are now, there's an icon called Ekthar. Yep. That is the location of the first boss. Well, specifically it's a it's a place that you can summon the boss if you have the right summoning uh, materials. Now I don't. So, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler. But to summon him, you need uh, deer trophies, which are essentially deer heads. Yep. Well, just go kill some deer. Well, the problem with just go killing some deer, at least early game, is that it is very difficult to get close enough to smack them with a wooden, with a wooden axe. I'm currently chasing a deer for anyone on the stream. Yeah. I'm already out of stamina. I can't catch the deer. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I found so, a little house we could have we could have stolen. That's nice. So the way that you get deer is um is gonna be by building a bow and arrow and learning. And yeah, I think so for a bow and arrow we need leather scraps, I think. Yeah. We so need a work need... we need we need an operational workbench, which we have now. Yep. And then we would need to collect the materials to make them. Oh, I just found a bunch of boars. They might kill me though. Yeah.
you make a bow yet? No, I haven't made a bow yet. I've just been killing boars and cooking meat and talking. I, uh, I made an interesting discovery. And uh, I'll tell you where it is on the map in a second. Uh, just about due north from where we are. Mountain. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of stuck in the leading to. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I guess the lean-to was a bad idea. The pad's just a little too close. Or the yeah, the the roof the the roofs probably have to come off of a uh, yeah we can of a can wall. Fix that. I'm, I'm gonna fix that. Go right ahead. I was just trying to go all. Uh... No, I get it. It just it didn't work out. Need a little more wood to make that happen. It's fine. Gonna have plenty of boar meat. Yeah, no, I played a little bit of No Man's Sky, and I actually got some Elden Ring time in at lunch, which was <coughs> super, which super relaxing. Actually, I do find Elden Ring relaxing, even when I'm dying horribly. So uh, a lot of that's just being chill and exploring, and then killing stuff. After after our uh, our episode last week, I thought. You'd be like uh, going on walks at lunch instead of playing Elden Ring. <laughs> it's was kind of cold today. Yeah, I should be I should be going on walks, but I have not. Likely still. now, I feel judged. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Obama. I made that okay, beautiful lean to. Yeah, well, it didn't it. work. Not gonna I am. All right, I'll have to find more boars. I hear a boar. Where's the boar at? Or the snort this, of a boar. So this is actually one of the one of the cool parts of Valheim is the whole building thing, because it, it can be very fun to try and optimize building and figure out the best way to do certain things. Bone chips, bone whatever fragments. You're a bone fragment. I don't even know what that means. Nope. You're another pig. Where is he? Where you at, pig? There he is. Where, piggy? I'm pig. A little bit of babe action. All right. Okay, can't sleep at this time, but I'm not convinced that that's actually going to provide proper cover. Now I fixed it so it's got more space so that when a Viking is sleeping and then gets up... He doesn't get trapped in the roof? He doesn't get trapped in the roof. That was that a was feature. <laughs> All right, I can We've make my... We've been killing what? I don't know. I've been killing four. Yeah, I don't know what you said that sounded, sounded different. Yeah, I don't know. You still there? Eric, the IT guy. Give us a give us a chat if you're still there because you were talking about maybe dinner eating dinner. All right, I now have a bow. This this shelter is by the way moderately pathetic. It is. Also, if it rains, the fire will not provide warmth, and that's the thing. To sleep at night as a Viking, you need to have a fire uh... to provide some warmth. Killed the deer and the pig jumped me. Oh, so you were actually able to gank a deer. I got me a deer. We have our first deer trophy. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So 
So what we do is if this were a game, if this were a uh, a world that was we were going to persist upon, we would gear up by killing four and other things, building. So like if I look at the workbench, what can I craft? I could craft uh, rag tunic, rag pants. How do we get leather? Deer, deer hides. Oh, deer hides give us leather armor. Yep. See, I haven't touched a deer hide yet. Gangriff's the one who's been killing the deer, so... Here, I'll bring some back. You can... Yeah. No, it's fine. You can feel up the deer hide. Oh, hey now. Right? That's not at all creepy. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Here, have some deer hide. Yeah, there... Oh, tannin rack. Oh, is it the tanning rack that lets us get the armor? Uh, the tanning rack is the next upgrade for the workbench, but... All right, so but let me the, see if the work... The deer hide is what gives us... So I'm not seeing armor. the ability to craft leather yet. I thought it was just deer hide. Is there something else we need? We might need to Maybe actually upgrade. So let me see rack. if I can build the tanning rack. All right, so the tanning rack <clears throat> needs a lot of... It needs 10 wood, 15 flint, 20 leather scraps, and 5 deer hide. And so that's that's kind of what I'm talking about with the progression in the game. You know, Nate killed the, his first deer, which we discovered the deer hide. Now if we go and build the tanning rack close enough to the workbench, it'll upgrade the workbench, which should let us build better stuff. And, of course, the things we build with that work, that'll let us tech up we would need to tech up into at least proper leather armor and then up you can upgrade armor pieces and yep. and whatnot before trying to take on the deer boss and we'll that's have, how you valheim we'll have deer meat in a minute i can see that this is different having meat types split. Yeah, 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 I have cooked deer meat. I'm gonna eat that. There's our island. I guess we'll keep the raft here and just, uh, you know. We should build right. a bridge. Build a bridge out of her. <laughs> Neck meat, deer. I, I'm like actually spoiled for choice now. I've got neck meat, deer meat, and boar meat. Look at you. And berries. Yeah, so if I, I've eaten some deer meat, some boar meat, and some berries, and it looks like my health is going to be 90. Is it 97? Let's see. Neck gives you 25 health. Boar yeah, it looks like it's capping around 97. Health. Deer gives you 35. So neck, neck I'm going to leave here in the box. gonna eat up go kill some more deer hear one honking now yeah and in valheim the deer honk yeah i don't i don't know why that is i think it's so that we know where they are to make it a little easier to find them that that's my head cannon around that okay valid all right so I hear the honking. Where is it? There's the honking deer. Oh, that's a stump. Take to make a wooden shield. Um, that'd be really helpful. So I really suspect that upgrading the workbench will unlock stuff like that. I could just Google it, but I don't feel like it. 
Oh, it's not listed as an available thing yet? Hidden shield? No. No, I didn't say it. Come on, Grayling. Die. Honkin' deer. I hear you. There he is. There he is. There's a the honkin' deer. One of the things I like about this game is they, they put some attention into mechanics of things. Like sailing, for example. People say that the, yeah. the sailing mechanic is surprisingly realistic. Uh, as someone who grew up on the Jersey Shore, it absolutely is. I've never sailed in my life. I've spent I've spent plenty of time boating. I've sailed in small craft, but I've never never sailed. Yeah, he did a pretty good job with it yeah. for a video game. Uh, but the archery mechanic is pretty similar to the only the only thing it doesn't get is uh, wind. Right, so if the, if the wind is blowing in one direction, do we direction, really want it to take? No, into I really don't wind. want it to. I'm just saying that for accuracy. I'm sake. shitty enough with the bow as it is, and in fact, there seems to be like a little built-in, a little built-in like error on the on the bow as it is. Oh yeah, the lower quality bows definitely have built-in. The higher quality bow you get, the more accurate it is, and the further it'll shoot. I'm, I'm trying to attack this one-star deer with an axe, and he's, like, kind of... Uh, there, he's crossing the water. He's going to get away. Maybe. Don't you have enough... Or, uh, or leather to... Deer. Don't you have enough leather to make a bow yet? Maybe. Are you just avoiding a bow? Do you not like I... bows? I like bows just fine, but now it's a general principle with this deer. I'm going to kill it with his stick. Because I've got him down to a tiny sliver of health. Tiny sliver. I got a bird! Awesome. That's actually uh, a feat with the with this bow. Getting a bird. It is a feat. This deer is gonna get away. Sliding oh. down a little ravine into the water. You know, I keep no. He's the running. Mark. He's he, he ran into the woods. The only hope I have is that once he once he um, gets out of range, he'll reset and try to go back to because the mobs try to go back to their spawn point and then resume their their wandering. Some flint. You said we need a bunch of flint, right? Yeah, I was collecting flint in the water. That's how I managed to gank the deer. Or try to gank the deer. Yeah, gank implies that you successfully killed the deer. You did not. Yeah, I did not successfully kill the deer. That is tragic. I found a uh, grave. Ship grave. If only we could dig, we'd be rich. Rich Vikings. You're another honking deer. I'm like a bird. I'll only fly away. <laughs> okay. I hear you. I hear you, Eric, the IT guy. I don't feel hurt. <laughs> You are heard. Nice job with the uh, with the Tam show today, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that was good. I, I got to watch most. I got to watch most of it. it. Was good. So, so funny story, Eric. I don't know. I don't know if you've read the blog I wrote, uh, a day in the life of a technical account manager. Uh, this is a little bit of self promotion, but it's actually on Red Hat's website. Yep. Um, I talk about a Reddit user at the beginning of the blog who had questions because he was considering applying to be a TAM at Red Hat. Uh, that Reddit user is Skip, the TAM you interviewed today. Yeah, that, uh, that, that came up on the stream, actually. I don't know if you watched that part. 
I must have missed that part. Okay. But yeah, the uh, your your post was shared, and then Skip shared the, that exact same story. That, that oh, you, see now I feel like a dork. That you, I, that you uh, wrote it for him. Uh, yeah. My my blog post was shared. The the one I wrote that was similar in uh, the one I wrote for Enable Sysadmin, and okay. uh, the one about Tam, like the promotional material for Tam was shared. Gotcha. Couldn't form words. At Nah, dude, you you got some imposter syndrome going on. Yeah, you man, were, you did. You, were, you did good. You, you're Eric. you're a good host. You're like very easy to listen to. You you don't sound stiff at all. Sounds very natural. Uh, sound very natural as the host of the show. We have plenty stop, of stop! 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 Feeling feeling like you weren't doing a good job because that's just that's that's not that's not that's simply not true. We officially need a second box. We, ah, uh, that's doable. In fact, I have 23 wood on me right meow. Yeah, I'm already making one. It's going to be oh, right, right Amy, next to the Mickey first man. one. Amy, making it As soon back. as I find a level enough ground. There we go. Hey, making it back. I mean, I could take the, the box down. You can make your own if you want to. But, you know. No, I'm not going to be that much of a dork. <laughs> All right. So, let's review what we need for this tanning rack. We have plenty of so flint get, now. All right. So, how many deer hide do we got? Um, only the ones I gave you. Oh wait, no, I have okay. two. I have two on me now. So, so and there's two in this chest. And I'll, I'll, the first I'll put, chest. I'll put my two with those. Two. Legacy storage, if you will. Legacy storage. We have more deer meat to cook. I'm gonna cook that up quick. I lit myself on fire. Go to the water. Oh, Get that's the water. my. <laughs> that would be my favorite thing in this game. <laughs> setting myself on fire <laughs> it happens more than i'd like to admit oh boy set himself on fire i don't even know if jumping in the water puts you out or not um it probably does i can say that i was once fighting a troll and he happened to walk into the water and it did not put out the fire arrows that i was shooting him with so i don't know if that's different mechanic for players or not oh. but yeah, I don't know. Right now, a troll would be about the most terrifying thing that could show up. Yes! Although, it most likely won't because of the, uh... Well, I don't even know if there's any... The I don't know if there's any Black Forest on this island. I, I would assume so. There's Mountain. Crazy. Black Forest is the most common biome in the game. Yeah? That... that I kid you not. That's the developers, I believe, said that. Most common biome in the game, the Black Forest. I mean, sadly, once... there, sadly, there is no delicious cake. Oh, right. Once you're skilled up enough, the Black Forest is actually a... Uh, it, it, it's a really beautiful biome. Like, it feels very much like a... a right, but like you need to forest. have you need to have the proper gear yeah. because it's it stays terrifying for a while and at night getting at night in the black forest is when all the gray dwarves come out to play and then you get your butt swarmed yeah because the brute you, you st honestly even at our level you still have to kind of respect the brutes they can they can do they can do damage if you're not careful oh yeah if you just kind of like wander up to one and let it poke at you or even if you're like like I said, even if you're you know kind of swarmed or whatever. Oh yeah, it, it a bunch can, of them will definitely get you. Can be problematic. All right, so I guess I should probably make a bow. Let's see here. Oh. So crude nice bow. Day. Ten wood, eight scraps. Missed him again. Now he's mad at me. Yeah, they they the kids get mad anyway. They they need to get out of here. Prove the function. I has bow. Now I'm make some arrows. Carving arrows out of out of out of wood. So, all right. I think we can sleep anytime. Yeah, I was just getting rid of some. I want to make some more arrows though pigs and stuff when pigs fly ah, 
sir, shall I write that check? I think not. I crack myself up. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, uh, enjoy dinner, Eric. I don't know how much longer we're going to be on here, uh, but yeah, it was I don't great know to have you. Yeah, I going to go too much later, just because it is I... almost nine our time. Yeah, I think I wanted to chill and do a few other things. I've got... Not spend the whole night. Children to put to bed soon. Let's see if I can knock this tree down on top of this little gray line. Well, let's. I'm gonna sleep. Oh, bed's too exposed. What do you mean, bed's too exposed? Can't sleep in an exposed bed, man. Well, I know that, but. Alright, let me see if this will help. Still too okay. So clearly, as part of my effort to make things better, you made it worse. I made the house too big. So I now need wood to fix it because we can't sleep. Can't sleep. Clowns will eat me. It's not the clowns. It's just the beds are too exposed. Or maybe yeah. that means they're too exposed to the clowns. Yeah, that's exactly it. Can't sleep, find the leaving, because the bed's too exposed. Although the reality is a thin sheet will protect you from monsters. Yeah. My bed's not too exposed. <laughs> Mine's fine, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a nap. <laughs> oh, now it's working. There we go. Just needed a little more cover. And when I get up, I shouldn't be walk I shouldn't be poking through the, the side. Well, good. That's, that's you know, important. Ah, see? Totally. Yeah, because your, Vi your Viking there. stands up in the middle of the bed like he's five. You know, because that's how five-year-olds <laughs> yeah. get up. And, uh, yeah. All right, so I think we need a little more deer hide. Yeah, I was because I want to. Before we quit, I do want to build the tanning rack. I was working on that, cutting down some more trees to make some more arrows. When uh, when you took my tree that I cut down because you were crying about your bed. I was crying about the bed. I looked at that. That's what I'd like. I'd like to build the tanning rack before we're done. And see if that lets us make. And I didn't check shield, so if you want to check the workbench to see if we can build a, a shield, that would be cool. Once I have my wood for arrows, I will check for that as well. Yep. I'm, I'm on the hunt for some deer. Yep, wood shield. Needs resin, leather scraps, and wood. So shields are available at the moment. Yep. Yep, and they are. I'll be honest, I didn't even look. So that's cool. But I did look at the at the armor options, and there were no armor options other than rags. Yeah. I thought we had plenty of leather scraps. I guess not. Used them all up. Probably used them when you made your bow, if I had to guess. Yeah. All right, so I got another deer hide. I think, were we one short for the tanning rack? Uh, I don't remember how many we needed. Okay. Heard a deer. Is it running away? It sounded like a spook deer. Where are you, I think deer? They only I think they there only make noise when they're spooked. 
No, they make the little like horror horror noise when they're just kind of hanging out in the How's woods. How's that go? Horror horror. That sounds more like uh, villagers in Minecraft, I think. Yeah. Her. Her, her. See? See, rabbit? See? Oh, God, yeah, and all the regular leather scraps are not in the chest now. Did you remove them? I have two on me, but that's from the boars that I killed. We okay. Must, so... I assume we must have used them when we made our bows. Yeah, so tanning rack will need 20 of those, and we need five deer hide. Oh, we need 20 leather scraps to go with it? Yeah, okay. we, we have the five deer hide now. We just don't have the leather scraps. So I definitely so... won't make a shield so... until we have that tanning rack then, because we're going to need the leather yeah. scraps. We just yeah. need to slaughter boar. Okay, and since you're off that way, I'll go this way. I keep forgetting to mark where the friggin' house is. One of these days I'm gonna be like, Where's the house? I can't find it! <laughs> I'm lost! We... Yeah. I'm actually gonna use my brain and do that. Oh, your bed is on the map. On the map. Oh, that's map. right. Never mind then. But I'm gonna put a house icon here anyway. Sure to use the cardiography. Oh wait. <laughs> no cartography table for us. I forget what we even need to make one. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. It's like raspberries, uh, That's fine easy. wood. That's not so easy. It's not so easy. Uh, it might even, fine wood. Might even yeah, move. fine wood. We need paddles. So, so the cartography table for those of you who are still even caring right now is a. Uh, it's a table, right? It's in the name. And your they Viking can, can write the discoveries on it, and then other Vikings can copy those discoveries. So on a very, server, very useful. Every, everybody can basically share maps. Super useful in multiplayer. Pointless in single single player, obviously. I mean, it does look cool in your house if you're looking for things to build to make your house look cool. But yes, does otherwise... It give you any, uh, does it give you any sort of a rest bonus or no? I don't think it does, no. So, other than looking cool in single player, it does nothing. Right. It looks cool. And, I mean, I, I mean, suppose, like, if you were... I mean, looking cool is a valid reason to build something. Don't if, get me wrong. If you were going to, like, make a second player and start over or something, you could then get your old player's map. That might be a use for it. Ah, Otherwise... That, that's a real edge case. For the, for the normal purposes of having a cartography table, it's kind of useless. I mean, that's a valid edge case, but that's a real edge case. Maybe, well, maybe some people play with more alts. I'm not really an alt kind of a guy. Yeah. Yeah, and again, right, this game, like, why would you make an alternate character? Because you wanted a beard instead of a clean-shaven face? It's kind of like... Yeah. It's, I found it's not like rooms. It's not like, uh, oh, I'm going to make a mage this time, right, or something. It's... You're a Viking. Yeah. yeah you yeah. all have the same stats. You look different. That's it. Truth. You're a Viking warrior. Finding very few boars out here. For real. Big old field at the foot of a mountain, which makes me worried about wolves. Oh, I found a black forest, and then the the bird's gonna talk to me. Oh yeah, I just found the black forest too. You're in the uh, you're not near me though, so I guess there's. Well, the first time you enter the biome, you get the warning. It can be very dangerous if you're not prepared, and it basically says if you haven't killed Ekthmir, you really should piss off at this point. And yeah, now I'm, I've got a gray dwarf chasing me. I'm right at the edge, and I I can see gray dwarf standing there waiting for me. Like, come on in. The water's fine. Yeah, I got one chasing me. The Black Forest is a great place to play. Come on in. Uh, all right, I'm going to try to kill him. And now he's running. Oh, took half his health. Now this he's kind of trying to run away. This is one of those cases where having that shield would be really beneficial. Rage Warp down. In On our family server, we got swarmed <laughs> by, like, half a dozen gray dwarves at about the level that we're at now 
Um, oh, that's not good. But I had a shield. I had a shield and I think a flint axe. When Ajax and I first ran into the Grage Worms, they were so terrifying. But with the shield, it was surprisingly, like, with a little bit of strategy, you know, not not just charging in and swinging. Stand back, let them hit, and then swing. Um, I was able to take them all out. It was kind of surprising. I was, I was impressed by myself. So, there's an expression <laughs> among people that play MMOs, and I'm sure you've heard it. And the expression is knowledge is often the best twink. Yep. You know, and twinking for those who think I'm talking about something completely different is when you outfit a new character with gear or stuff to make them more powerful. But the reality is, is part of, be, part of being a more powerful character, especially depending on the game, is the knowledge that you, the meat sack, has. Right. And in Valheim, there's a lot to that. Like, Valheim played fresh is an amazing voyage of discovery. Like, just figuring out all the systems, the first time you see certain monsters. Yeah. The, the first time you're slain horribly by a troll, things like that. And, and you, you, it's hard to recapture that. Like, yeah, my guy is still weak, but... And if a troll showed up, I'd be in trouble. But my brain understands, oh, that's a troll. I've seen this before. But the first the first time you see this giant friggin' blue thing carrying out a tree trunk, you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. And you probably yeah. will. <laughs> you probably will. Or you're cocky and you're like, oh, I shall come at you with my stone axe. And then he and then you smashes you into yeah. a pulp. Absolutely or maybe die. you've played a lot of uh, maybe you've played a lot of uh, Dark Souls and you you dodge roll and manage to take them out. I'm thinking that's going to be the minority of players though. So I have I have twelve uh, leather scraps on me now. Ah, very good. I've because got two I, because I, I came across there's not a lot of things. I came across a door room yeah. with about a half a dozen doors around it, several of which were one stars. Nicely done. So now I just gotta make it back to you. Yeah, I'm still looking for boar. Or at least back to our house, I should say. I found the same mountains I think you were talking about. Well, hopefully it's the only That's mountain. Boar, right? Right? Should we go look for a cave? We're not doing that. Actually, I'm approaching. Oh god, I had zero. I came across a, a boar and I had zero stamina. That was embarrassing. Did the boar kill you? No, I just I stood there for a moment until my stamina. Was he was gnawing on me, but I've got seventy-one hit points now because I'm I've been yeah. eating food. Yeah, you're right. You're right by me, so you're definitely at the same. I see you. I see you. Should we go make a snowball? I mean. Do you want to build a snowman? So I mentioned Ooh, earlier that the Black boy. Forest is a very beautiful biome, but honestly, the mountain is even more cool. When you say the mountain is more cool, it's funny, that choice of words, it's quite because cold. the mountain, you will freeze to death if but you don't have the proper gear. Like, I I've hear, entered the I mountain. Hear a wolf. I hear a wolf, dude. I hear a wolf. Run from the wolves. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's wolves, drakes, and bitter cold. The wolves will tear us to pieces in about two hits. <laughs> maybe even if, one. Maybe one hit. Yeah, so to brave the mountain, most people brave the mountain by making frost resist potions because you can make those without having to go into the mountain. And then after you kill enough wolves, you can, you can make armor that keeps you warm enough. Which also has the nice side effect of you're not cold at night anymore when you're wearing it. I still hear because being hell. cold at night kills your regen, which often leads to a dead Viking. So all these systems, so you said a while ago what you love about Valheim is the simplicity. And I'll give you a yes and an amen. However, there's also a lot of elegance in how the systems work together. Yeah. yeah. Sort of like I just described. So not only can you make armor that lets you survive the bitter chill of the mountains, but that same armor lets you function at night. Because at night you are cold. Yeah, because it's colder at night. 
Yeah, because you know Norse. Yeah, that's that's and what I mean, right? No, there like, is no thermostat. This this game is meant to be. I mean, even though we're dead Vikings and we're in a in one of the realms of. Like, not even a real realm of Norse mythology, a fake realm of Norse mythology. I think they made Valheim up, yeah. yeah they did. Um, the world is, is meant to feel real. Like, it's meant to feel yeah. like, like, oh, in the real world, it's cold at night. And since you don't actually Especially have in any, a cold climate. Like, warm clothing, you're going to be cold, and that and cold has a, has a negative impact on you. The snowy mountains are also cold. Right? Regardless of what time of day it is. Yeah. So if you're going to be in the freezing cold without the proper clothing, you're going to be freezing. Just like if you were to try to climb Mount Everest without a nice furry coat. I think you need a little more than a furry coat. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you are absolutely right. All right, time to fix all the stuff. I was picking up what you were putting down. So if you can bring me your leather scraps, we can make this this tanning. So I'm gonna I'm making my way back, but there's a couple of boar in between me and you, which will result in more leather scraps, I suspect. It it should. Because the leather is what keeps the boars out insides. Well, inside. Yes. <sighs> yes. Hear more honking deer. Uh, honk. Honk. But this uh, gameplay loop of collecting materials and building things that let you build better things, I mean, that's really the core of Al. It really is. So, so if you're more about discovering gear, like so, we'll take we'll take uh, we'll take Elden Ring as an example. Elden Ring. There, the only crafting in there is consumable things. All the gear you wear and the weapons you use are dropped items. All right. So if that's your preferred way of, of gearing a character up, that's that's not how this works. So what do you need? The ladder? Yep. I'll just drop it. It's now it's on the roof. Leather on the roof. All right. Now is there is there a flat enough spot to put this thing? Is the next? Question. We don't know. I'm going to see if the new recipes show up when I've got it open when you build it. I put it, like, back here. There we go. Wham! Oh, look at that. And we now have new crafting recipes. We can make leather tunics, leather pants. And that's what we're talking about when, you know, sh show, them in the men show them how big the menu got now. Yep. That's teching up. We can now make better, le better armor to face our enemies. And not just these rags. But to make that, that armor, we got to collect more raw materials. Yep. And, you know, all this is associated with this base. If we go somewhere else and we build a workbench, those recipes won't be on that workbench. Right. We would need to build another tanning rack. So what you tend to have is as you move through the game, you tend to have bases of operation where you've got your work, your crafting stations your upgrade things, stuff like that, uh, and and so that that's where you that's where you go back to at the end of the day. Yeah, for that's me, it's, all... it's like the the progression usually goes: I build a base very close to the altar, and then once I've expanded out far enough, I build it. I build like my main base on a coast somewhere. Yeah, because that way you can sail from there, right? And you and, can and right, and, and the sail the sailing's a big deal. It really I mean, is, it really is, as it should be in a Viking game. Yeah, yeah, and then you know I'll I'll make a portal from my my home base back to my starter base, and then whenever I need to go back to the altar, I just port back to my main base or my my original base, and then there you are. Yeah. In this case, you know we'll need to build a bridge. <laughs> I think if we were to stick with the save, we would just end up building a portal 
Yeah, that would probably make more sense. At the altar, rather than a bridge. Although, a bridge would honestly, be fun. We, could, we could build a bridge, a bridge because a bridge you, you be get the tooling to raise and lower land eventually. Or even we could do a wooden bridge with pilings. And that would be a fun little Viking engineering project. All right. All right, so I got 920. Yep. This I has think been um, enjoyable. I it was folks. really fun. It, it was fun. We, I was, I was very, I was fairly confident that we'd be able to do it as long as we weren't on a literal desert island, yeah. like without resources. Yeah, yeah. The, and uh, and yeah. honestly, we didn't try it, but once we had those berries, we might have been able to swim off. I'm not buying that. I don't know. It looks like a long, long way looking at it from the, cor the, sh the shore here. That's a long way. I don't. I mean, there's one way to find out at this point. I'm going to freshen up with a berry. And try to swim it. I'm going to put all my valuable stuff in this chest. I think over there, by that rune stone that I'm looking for, uh -huh. is probably the narrowest spot. But you're... you're Maybe this rock over here is, I don't know, the one next to our house. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to drop this other stuff on the ground because it won't despawn thanks to the thanks to the workbench. This, this and then let's see. What are you thinking? So either right here, where I'm standing, mm -hmm. or down there. See that rune stone off in the distance down that way? Yeah. That... that little peninsula there might be narrower i don't know all right well we're gonna see what happens you got some stamina water he goes you have just the berry just the berry for the most part oh oh are you already out? and i'm out right there and that's where almost there almost you're like halfway I hear My you life drowning. is starting to go down. Oh, that's an interesting... Okay, so this is not... I've eaten some other stuff. Yeah. Which is making my life more. Right. But I'm still probably not... Oh, I died. You almost and made I, it. It looked like it anyway. I, but <laughs> I had I had boar meat in my belly and deer meat in my belly. Yeah. Had I not had that, I would have died yeah. quicker. So even if we came across boars and deer and berries on that island, it still wouldn't have been enough and to get us And cooked them. Yeah, yeah, and had the ability to cook them, which, you know, maybe we could have if we were patient enough, but we would have run out of wood eventually. Because that, there's no trees out there except for those little shrubs, and they, those, as far as I know, do not respawn, even the shrubs. Once you've destroyed them, they're gone. So sad. So sad. I'm gonna go back to cooking my boar meat, and then I guess we'll call it a night. Yeah, I think so. Which again is nothing against anybody, but yeah, no. I mean, I don't know if anybody's still watching. To be honest, I see one. Looks like one on Twitch, which might be you. Probably is, but this was super fun. Yeah, I, I will was say fun. that. And then if we ever want to just play Valheim together with simple with not much progression here we are yeah i'll definitely keep this world around and we can always fire it back up if we want to do you have to do you have to pay for it like is there a it's on is there a charge to run it it's on my machine that i already run things like my website and stuff on it's just okay. another container so you, you, so you ba oh so this is running on a container yep i just so i'll just shut the container down and if we ever want to play it again i'll turn the container back on is it using DACA or is it using uh Oh Podman? come on. Where do we work, Mark? I know that, but sometimes depending upon like di w when you get a machine from DigitalOcean, do you have to use one of their images or do you yeah, they just a, give you essentially a VM? I it's a it's a CentOS Streams 8 uh, machine. Oh, okay. So I put Podman on it and that's what I run all my services in. Maybe we'll maybe we'll I, do I, a show someday on uh, on how I run I my, love that. my infrastructure. Oh, and so, you know how we've talked about having my son on to talk about ROM hacking and stuff? Yeah. He actually won a contest. Oh, now, that's cool. Now, he, 
he's a micro internet celebrity as he points out because it was on this it, it, there's a fairly large rom hacking community for for classic games a lot of them run through discord servers discord but he he discord he, the contest was about making a new chapter for this specific game like okay. this specific old game and and his one that's so, cool he doesn't really get anything other than cred, but it, it's kind of cool. And what's neat is, well, I don't want to spoil too much, but the type of stuff you do when you're doing these ROM hacks is actually kind of applicable to many modern workflows in, like, development and stuff. Pretty cool. So he's he's home from college mid-May. I think maybe once he's back in town, we, if we have him on the podcast, that would be a hit. That would be kind of a hoot. Have him talk about that stuff. You still there? Yeah. Because you're kind here. of looking up at the sky. No, okay. I, was, I was switching back. To, why is that not right now? That's weird. Huh. We don't know. It, did it get wacky at you? Yeah, I don't know. Well, your your camera is messed up for some reason. I switched back to the... I can see that, but the, that's the all right. It, it's fine. We're just about done. I just wanted to switch away while I was closing out of the game. Yeah. All right, so this has been enjoyable. I think it was a good time. I enjoyed we, it. We got off the island. Realistically, I didn't think there was much chance we weren't going to get off that island. I think if we were total noobs, we would have been in trouble. Yeah, we know enough about the game that it was just not... That's just, I'm saying, knowledge is the best twink. Yeah. But it was still an interesting intellectual exercise for Valheim, and I'm glad we did it. It's like the kind of thing you talk about doing, and sometimes you never do, and we actually did it, so that actually, that makes me happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I should try and do this type of specific challenge or something. And, and there we go. And you talk and you talk and you just never get around to it. Yep. Yep. But we, we crushed it. Totally just like the sales it. team, we crushed it. <laughs> See, I was crushing my, my seltzer water can. Oh, okay. Well, good. All right. Well, crushed it. I think crushed I'm going to take the stream out, folks. Uh, those of you who stuck around, thanks for watching. Yeah. And if you were watching the recording, Man, there were so many other things you could have been watching, so... Yeah, thanks. Fantastic! Thanks for that. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Right.